so now let's start from the step one in creating an xsgs service and in here we are going to create an empty xsgs service and i will tell you how to create the xsgs service so now let's head over to our hana studio and open your project explorer tab and expand your project folder and within that folder let us make the subfolders like xsgs and xso data and in xsgs we are going to create our xsgs service so for that right click on the xsgs folder select new and in the options select xs javascript file so in here let us name our xsgs service as customers orders and for the template you can choose either the empty xsgs service template or basic xsgs service template so in this course i am going to select an empty template so that i can demonstrate a step by step manner so click on finish so now you have created an xsgs service and you are ready to code in your xsgs file so now we have completed the step 1 in creating xsgs service so let's head over to the step 2 so in here we are going to return the current users who are calling this xsgs service so now let's head over to our hana studio and you have to write dollar dot response dot set body and pass your message as the parameter so in here i am going to write the current user is so we are going to write dollar dot session dot get username so now let us save it and activate by right clicking team activate so we have activated this xsgs service so now we are going to run this xsgs service by selecting your xsgs file and right click on the file and run as xsgs service so this will redirect to your login page login using your username and password the specified dollar dot session dot get username activate your xsgs service right click on your xsgs file and run as xsgs service in here you can see the current user is system so now we have completed the step 2 and in the next step i am going to explain you how to use the postman client to execute your xsgs service so postman is available as an chrome extension so you can go to the chrome store and download the extension postman after downloading it go to chrome slash apps and in there select the postman client so now the postman client is opened so copy your url to the xsgs service and paste it in this input box enter the request url so specify your http method and in that type select the basic authentication and type in your username and password so now press on send button and you will get the result as a body in this section the current user is system so you know how to use the postman client to call xsgs service so now let's go to the step 3 in creating xsgs javascript service in step 3 we will handle http methods like a get method put 
post delete methods and how to make use of them in our XSGS service. So for that, let's go to our HANA studio and delete. So now let's talk about handling the request method through HTTP. So you will get what kind of request method that the user has invoked in the variable dollar dot request dot method so dollar dot request dot method will hold what kind of http method the user has invoked so let us create a switch statement so that we can handle either the get method put post or delete method so for that let us create a switch statement in the basis case switch case dollar dollar dot net dot 